Today marked a new two-week session for Quebec's National Assembly, but not everyone was there. Some MNAs from the Parti Québécois were absent after refusing to take an oath to the king. Last month, MNAs from the Parti Québécois and Quebec Solidaire didn't include the oath during their swearing-in ceremonies. That raised questions about their eligibility to serve in the Assembly. The rules state that the oath is required or members may be ejected from Parliament. Both parties are calling for a motion or a bill that supports them sitting in the National Assembly despite the rule. The CBC's Alison Northcott is on the story and joins me now live from Montreal. So, Alison, interesting story here. So, what can you tell us about the lead up to today? What's, what's the context? Well, the legislature opened today and began this next session of work without members of the Parti Québécois who were elected to sit there uh, in the National Assembly today, sitting in their seats. And that's because, as you mentioned, they have not pledged allegiance to the king. And that is part of the Constitution Act, that anyone sitting in the National Assembly has to make that oath. So when they were sworn in as members of the National Assembly, they only pledged allegiance to the people of Quebec and not to the king. So technically, they are not allowed to sit in the National Assembly. So today, uh, they did not show up in the National Assembly. They did not try to take their seats. Uh, instead, they had a press conference after the proceedings had wrapped up for the day. And uh, the leader of the Parti Québécois, that they want the Speaker of the House, who is just newly elected Speaker of the House, to uh, work with them to find solutions to ensure that the Parti Québécois is not excluded from, uh, from the National Assembly and from the legislative work that they were elected to do because of their refusal to take the oath. They said taking that oath would be discriminatory and humiliating. And so they are asking the, the Speaker to, to come up with a way to allow them to sit. And they said they plan to attend the National Assembly on Thursday and to take their seats on Thursday. And they're hoping that there will be a way for them not to be uh, removed from the National Assembly, whether that's through uh, a new rule or a motion that is tabled or just asking the sergeant at arms not to act and not to have them removed. All right. Well, that'll be uh, interesting to see what happens. What are the other parties saying? Well, there are other parties who also are against the idea of pledging an oath to the king. Uh, Quebec Solidaire, for instance, uh, in the past has taken that oath, but behind closed doors. This time they did take the oath to the king uh, in order to be able to take their seats in the National Assembly because they say those are the rules that are in place. And if you want to change the rules, they said you have to be in the National Assembly to do that. So their first order of business, they said, is to table uh, a bill that would make it optional for people sitting in the National Assembly to pledge an oath to the king or not. So that's something that they're looking to do on Thursday. Uh, the CAQ, the government, says that they are also looking at tabling a bill. Have a listen to the Premier speaking about this. Unfortunately, our lawyers are telling us that uh, we need a law to uh, put this uh, uh, as optional. So uh, we are already committed. So next week we'll table a bill to do that. So in the meantime, they have the choice to come or not. But passing that kind of legislation, it takes time. And the Parti Québécois is eager to sit in their seats in the National Assembly as soon as possible. All right, Alison, thank you. The CBC's Alison Northcott, welcome. live in Montreal.